Bonsoir, hi. Bonsoir, good evening. Uh, way back in the analog days, I knew and worked with many great people from Toronto in companies with quaint names like London Records, Polydor Records, MCA, Warner. It's nice to be back. It's, it's a pleasure to be here. I don't know if Stefan ever dreamed of being inducted into the Hall of Fame when he was writing all those songs that, that gave Quebec a voice and an industry, along with Beau Dommage and Robert Charlebois. He was a great songwriter, and hit after hit, he just kept them coming for many, many years. Um, wait a second, where am I? Oh, yes, that's where we go. <laughs> In the early 70s, I was a struggling artist, starting to decide that maybe I should quit the Montreal music scene and, and go back home to Winnipeg, when I got a phone call from Stefan Venn asking me to come to meet him. Um, he had heard my second album, and he wanted to talk to me about it. Now, Stefan is a very serious and impressive man. He can outstare the devil, I am sure. He also had a very beautiful studio in a time when studios were almost like churches to musicians. And uh, he had founded a radio, a radio station that played exclusively French music, young and established francophone artists, giving us a real voice in Quebec. I'm sure English Canadian artists can understand that, being very close to US. <clears throat> so, uh, we fight for every inch. It is the way of the world. So it was a timid and very curious young man that took the metro under the St. Lawrence to Longueuil one morning for his first encounter with real power. Well, Stefan received me very warmly, and he gave me some very encouraging comments. He showed me around his beautiful studio. He showed me the radio station. He gave me some advice. It was good. <laughs> I'm still here 45 years later, and I'm still having fun. Uh, 